Hello everyone, greetings from India. This is Nirbhay Johan from Make Love Wear Selves Learning Tutorials. Well, in this tutorial, we'll be com comparing these two types of bridges. Uh, the word I'm using bridges here is like uh, the dimensions are quite long. You can use our tables also. The analysis and the other parts and the comparison can be done the same word as for tables also. So here, we are using the word bridges. So what we have is, in the first case, we have a bridge with four columns, four beams, and a slab above them. And the second case, we have the same four columns, a slab, but in place of the beams, we have these two arches and these in between these four walls. You can see so let me just tell you the dimensions uh, in the both case the dimension of the columns is same the columns are of course section 300 to 200 mm and the beams here they are also of the cross section 300 to 200 mm and the slab is of 150 mm thickness same is, is in the case of this arch bridge uh, and if you see there are no beams we have this arch and this arch is of 150 mm thickness and these walls these are of 100 mm thickness so let's start and compare the FEM results so let's start with the first case so we have this we have already made the structure so we can have another tutorial we will be discussing the modeling of the structures but here we can see the comparison so we have the FEM workbench open so click on the structure the compound and create the analysis object so now create on the structure and create this mesh using the gmesh measure so let the maximum element size be 2000 and the minimum element size be 1000 now let's click apply so this will be creating the meshes so ignore the warning click ok next select the material so we will be selecting the concrete generic so it has these following properties click ok now let's fix the constraints so here we have an option creates an FEM constraint for the fixed geometry so we will take this four bottoms faces of the columns just like that then by holding a control key and selecting with the mouse and add so you can see we have this fixed constraints here So click OK. Now let's have the FM constraint for the force. So let the force be 1 lakh Newton, that is 100 kilo Newton, and select the surface where you want the force to act. So you see the force is acting in the upward direction. Let's change the direction, reverse the direction here with this option. Click OK. So you can see we have the load acting here we have the fixed geometry so what next so click on the object so you can hide or unhide the things by using the spacebar key so now going to this calculix option and here we have runs the calculation for the selected server so you click this and this calculus will start running and we have the results obtained so fast so let's see the results this is the displacement bar so here we, on, we want to see the option in which we are interested is the absolute displacement of the structure so you can see the readings here average is 0 0.54 mm maximum is 1.66 mm so you can note down them we will compare later with the other one so here by clicking this bar 
and factor is 500 you can see the displacement you can see the simulation of this bridge basically we are interested in this in this reading so you can see the maximum displacement is 1.66 mm so let's close it and now let's see the results of the bridge with arches so let's move over to it so we have this arch bridge here let me just remind you again we have the thickness of this arch is 150 mm and this walls is 100 mm so let's start clicking on the object creating the analysis object then clicking again on the object we'll create the mesh from the gms solver so let the maximum element size be same we'll keeping we'll be keeping all the parameters same as it is taken in the previous example there are the bridge with the beams so click apply so okay so now let's also fix its footings you can say the bases click add and now we have the ends of the structure fixed let's select the material let it be concrete generic okay then select load we will taking the same load the 1 lakh newton on the surface reverse the direction okay so you see we have the load acting here let's unhide the mesh hide the structure and let's take the results so let's see what deflection do we have now so absolute displacement so you see the readings the average is 0.114 and the maximum is 0.61 mm so you can also see the simulation here you can see the deflection is very very less as compared to the previous example in that we have the average displacement was about 0.5 we have here 0.1 so you can see five times we have decrease in the displacement and the maximum displacement there was 1.5 here we have 0.6 so you can see around three times less here so you can see how effective the results are with just the introduction of these arches one more thing that you can see that we are able to reduce huge, huge amount of the material used like here we have taken the four beams here that deal is reduced so here comparatively we have got a very effective result a very less deflection so let me just rewind you the results in the bridge with the beams if we see the results so we have to active this first active analysis so if you see the absolute displacement here it was 0.54 average and the maximum 1.66 and the bridge with arches The result we have is the average is 0.114 mm and the maximum is 0.61 mm this is really very effective so we have discussed the results the results are in front of you so next time you analyze any structure you must have for this software free cat you can see how effectively we have got the analysis of the structure and the where there are most critical points so this is very effective tool and open source well thanks for watching stay tuned we'll have some more tutorials regarding this this one nirbhay chauhan from makelove self learning tutorials thank you